Hi there, happy Saturday. Um, this is the first time I've been out of the house properly today. <laughs> it's not a good start. Anyway, I wanted to show you this. This is a red elderflower bush. They've got very different leaves, they're much pointier, but the elderflowers are much the same. You can see some appearing there. This is in my garden. Uh, it's massive. And the best thing about this is that you can make um, elderflower cordial when there's more flower heads, which is usually about the 1st of June. So that's a couple of weeks from now, but I'm gonna keep an eye on it cause it's great. And it's one of my favorite things to do at the start of the summer. Welcome to another episode of Toby Stupid Vlog. Yesterday was something about vlogging spectacular, going out to Surrey Hills, flying the drone around. Can't do that every day, I'm afraid. I'd love to, <laughs> but it doesn't, I don't get paid to do that. So if somebody wants to pay me to do that, that is a different matter altogether, which is why I'm doing my drone certification with the Civil Aviation Authority. Meanwhile, today, because the weather is nowhere near as terrible as it said it was gonna be, I'm taking this opportunity to go for a bit of a walk, wander around whilst Crystal's had a hen do in Brighton, and because, as I said, I've done very little, I just feel I need to be outdoors a bit, see the world. Early evening sun in queue, it's lovely. I'm just gonna circle around and head back because I can see some very, very large gray clouds coming in from the north. And Crystal's just getting on a train in Brighton, so she'll be back in, I don't know, an hour and a half, something like that. Um, so I need to go and work out what we're having for dinner because as yet, my plans are non-existent. Cumulus. <laughs> They're very nice looking clouds though, aren't they? It's a lovely day. We're gonna make a picnic and head off to Wisley. Welcome to Wisley. We're about a month away from opening the new bit. So we're gonna go around do the old bit. Uh, colours are quite impressive. That is important and breaking news. We're going to wander around, see if we can get to... Where are we going? Get to the river. Up to the golf course. Looks very nice this time of year. I don't think we've ever seen it in May. But it's uh, very nice looking. Everyone else has obviously had the same idea. We're just wandering around Battleston Hill, which is on the southern end of Wisley, which we've never been to before, but is at this time of year quite stunning because it's just filled with different rhododendrons, sun coming through the leaves. Very colourful. Good afternoon, it's a beautiful spring day. The sound of lawnmowers ringing in the air. And I'm going, unsurprisingly, to the, where I always go, queue, um, because the Pavilion restaurant has opened and members get a 20% discount for the next couple of weeks. So I'm going to go and have a vegan lunch at queue. So whilst everyone else is glaring at Shahili, we're just going to wander down to the restaurant and see if it's open. It's a lovely day for it if it is. The only problem with the weather being so good is of course that I'm probably not the only per person to have had this brilliant idea. But let's see. Actually just now, on my way here, I passed a work vehicle for a popular uh, outdoor sports activity company which has their name and now says underneath with Bear Grylls who's obviously lent his name to theirs and it made me think doesn't everything sound much edgier if you add with Bear Grylls to it like literally anything what are you doing today I'm painting the house with Bear Grylls it immediately sounds cooler so next time you need to sound like you're doing more than you really are just add with Bear Grylls to the end and everything will be much more impressive. This week, vlogging with Bear Grylls. It's mostly finished. Bit of paving work still going on. It's certainly busy. It's 
quite a nice setting to have lunch. Prices aren't exactly low, but you are subsidising queue effectively, which is not a terrible thing. And on a spring day, it's very nice to eat outdoors. Food tastes pretty good, to be honest. Lunch with Bear Grylls. Before I came out, I watched an interesting video about the healing properties of negative ions, ions, I-O-N-S, and um, the associated uh, theories around that, including like salt crystal lamps and what have you. Um, I mean, it's very good. You should go and check it out. It's on channel Veritasium. Uh, broad overview without explaining why that's where, why you need to go and watch the video is that there's no concerted scientific proof that there has any effect at all um and there is a lot of scientific study in this area much more than you think and broadly speaking um what they suggested is if you want to feel better then rather than buy particular crystals or salt lamps whatever go outside which you know seems obvious but it does make the biggest difference is being outdoors sunlight and exercise generally so save your money go for a walk there is a lot of fencing and a huge portion of queue is fenced off today because of the oak processionary moth which you may know affects lots of oak trees in the UK currently and broadly speaking it causes a very nasty irritation to human skin it can be quite dangerous so they have to treat it um, and that's what they're doing today but they've cordoned off basically the whole of the area around the lake which is massive I mean talking acres of ground here also makes getting through the garden so difficult. This does go some way to explain why it's so busy today. It's because everyone's trapped in a much smaller area of the gardens and they can't spread out around the lake because that is all shut. So I'm going to see where the end of this fence is, but at the moment it feels like the gardens have sort of lost about a third of their size, maybe more. So from my ballpark estimate, I reckon about a third of the gardens is closed. It does say on the sign, rather confusingly, most of the gardens are open. Well, that's technically true. The majority, more than 50%, but not much more. Um, I'll try and roughly outline what's closed on a map so you can see. Actually, here's a map. Come with me, I'll show you. Right, so all of this section here is closed, all of that plus most of that. So I reckon it's Sorry, yeah, it's about, it's at least a third, maybe 40%. Um, by the time you see this, this will be ancient history and you won't care. But I've never seen that much of the gardens close and the gardens remain open. So it just shows the scale of the problem is quite substantial. So when you see a sign that says danger, oak processionary moth in this area, do take care because if you breathe it, the fibres from their body, you are probably going to end up in a hospital. So that does explain why it, um, it was so busy. A quick bit of maths, if you presume that people are evenly distributed around the gardens, they're not generally, to be fair. But if you presume that they are, for simple maths sake, and you close one third of the gardens and redistribute those people, in the remaining two thirds, that's 50% more people. And if you close 40% of the gardens and redistribute those people, that's 66% more people, uh, more density of people. So yeah, it can very quickly appear to be far busier just by closing 30 to 40% of the gardens. Um, shame, but I do have work to do, so maybe I should do that instead. And then I can come back tomorrow, Wednesday, when there's no more moths and enjoy the gardens, which will appear much emptier. In the middle of Teddington, Strawberry Hill, suburbia. Is there anything more ridiculous than a castle? Probably not. That is Strawberry Hill House. <laughs> it just looks so silly from here. Good morning. 
it is beautiful again. This is perfect weather for me. Spring, not too hot, sun's out, lovely. I have a few errands to run today. The most important of which is to get this phone fixed because at the moment I'm not entirely convinced that I'm actually getting texts um, or calls. <laughs> so that needs resolution quite quickly. Um, plus the 4G isn't working and the 3G is barely working. So I've got to go into the Apple store this morning. I've actually done quite a good bit of video work this morning in the last hour, which I wasn't expecting. So I'm feeling refreshed. I've broken the last week of sort of not quite getting anywhere streak. Love chestnut trees when they have the pink candles rather than the white ones. These ones are amazing. So I'm off to get the 72 bus, which handily is on diversion at the moment because Hammersmith Bridge is closed, which means it runs right past the cemetery here and runs all the way to Westfield. So for me, it works out really well, but for everyone who's used to going across Hammersmith Bridge, they're probably really sick of this diversion. Hooray. So an hour later, all done. It's a new phone, incidentally. The other one had completely given up connecting to mobile networks. And when I put the SIM in the new phone, I had four voicemails and two text messages that I hadn't got in the last three days. So that's exciting. I hope the number 72 never undiverts. It is truly brilliant. Like, it's the quickest way to get to Westfield from our flat by a long way. The irony is, because of bus routes and what have you, you couldn't actually drive it faster. In fact, the, pretty much the only way you could get there faster was would be on a bike or a motorcycle. It's lovely though. Problem is, the, the reason it's diverted is that Hammersmith Bridge is closed to vehicles and that is because it's in a state of disrepair and has been for years and they finally deemed it unsafe. So you can still walk over it and you can still cycle over it but they don't allow buses and cars. So that means that the 72, which usually goes across it, has to find another route. Now, I don't know if the Hammersmith Bridge is gonna be repaired anytime soon. I sincerely doubt it, looking at the way things are. Um, it needs a ridiculous amount of work. I mean, we're talking millions and millions of pounds need spending on it. So hopefully I get to keep the 72 bus route for a bit. I know I'll be sad when it goes. Oh look, what do we have here? Wow. Wow, that looks that looks fascinating. Tell me more. No, hang on, what's the opposite of more? Um oh yes, how much just go away? I've mostly finished the project that has been slipping backwards and backwards and backwards for weeks. And I feel very relieved and I've treated myself with a walk. A half past five walk. I've been going through vlogs trying to catch up. I don't know if I'll ever catch up but at least I won't get any further behind. I notice I've got this horrible tendency the further behind I am the more I record so you end up with half hour vlogs which difficult to watch, <laughs> difficult to edit. I'm just making my life more difficult. I should just shut up now really. Oh look more literature for the European Union elections. An independent Green Party and Change UK, who are effectively independent. Now, I have nothing against all of these people. They all have pretty solid policies. Um, I don't see the benefit of having an independent candidate. It won't send a message of any sort. The Green Party, broadly, if there was no other choice, I would vote Green. They're a bit further left wing than I am. That's definitely true. And Change UK, uh, well, they've screwed themselves, frankly, because they had an opportunity to come up with some sort of ability to unite candidates who want to stay in the European Union, and they screwed it up. So, whilst I'm not going to shred any of these, I'm not going to vote for them either. Happy Wednesday. Good afternoon. Um, this is the first time I've left the flat today. It is 5.40 and I've been staring at a screen all day and that's the real danger of when you get really involved with a project but it was for the best it needed doing and I was sort of walking slowly towards Wimbledon believe it or not 
I'm not going to walk the whole way, but I'm sort of following the train line a bit so I can jump on at some point or hit the district line at East Putney. It is pretty hot today. I mean, it's about the right temperature for the year, to be honest, it's 21. But um, it's nice that it's actually come back to reasonable temperatures despite the wind. And it is literally t-shirt weather, so that's nice. Um, walking along the main road less so, but you know, any exercise is better than no exercise. <laughs> Happy Thursday afternoon, everybody. Um, so today I did something I haven't done for absolutely ages. I made some bread. And what an absolute treat it is to eat fresh bread out of the oven. Love it. Even teaching myself tiger bread and the topping on that. So, good day. Haven't done a lot else. So, I'm off to work now. Bizarrely, it's half past two. Pick up some things from Webfield and then I'm going to Hilton Bankside, I believe. Um, but uh, for the time being, I'm just going to continue my walk along the Thames until I get to Barnes. The wild weeds are looking impressive down the bank at the moment. It really does look quite something. The tide's also a bit high, so I'm going to put my phone away before I drop it in the Thames forever. This is where I am today at the British Specialist Lending Awards in a lobby. It's today's schedule. Set up, ballroom, balcony, stuff. Oh great, I'm waiting for this machine to be less terrible. Hi, afternoon. Um, it's Friday, I'm dropping the bags back at Webvid and I haven't done the word of the week. So that is the next order of business. And then I'm gonna get rid of these very heavy bags and think about what I'm gonna do this evening because Crystal is out with her sister and her dad for her dad's birthday. They're going to a Motown show of some variety. And so I have a whole evening ahead of me with zero plans. So some plans need to be formulated. So because we found a secret airport this week, hidden in the Surrey countryside. I think this week's word of the week is going to be secret. The secret is this week's word of the week. So first of all, in German, the secret is das Geheimnis. Great word, das Geheimnis is secret in German. And in Italian, it's much more straightforward. It's il segreto. Il segreto is Italian for the secret. So there we go, that was secret in German and Italian and that was this week's word of the week. Good evening, the weather has not improved. It still looks pretty rubbish. Not the greatest way to end the week, but I'm gonna go and find myself something nice to eat. And that'll put a better shine on my week, let's say. Um, so that is it for this week. Thank you very much for watching. Um, the only thing I would say is you need to see next week's video, despite the fact I haven't filmed it yet. You need to see next week's video. You really do. And the best way to make sure about that is either with the subscribe and or the stupid bell thing. Um, yeah, look out for that. I'll see you then. Don't be